Relocations in Florida are probably the hardest thing that we do as family law attorneys. There are really specific requirements in the statute. There's 13 factors and the judge has to make findings about the best interest of the child for each one of those 13 factors. So when you file a petition, it's your job to prove that by overwhelming evidence that those 13 factors weigh in favor of the best interest of the child for you moving. If you can't do that, then you don't even get to the second part where they get to defend against it and show <clears throat> that it wouldn't be in the child's best interest. So yes, they're super tough, but you can get them done. And there are certain circumstances where it does make sense. It's really something that is very fact specific. So you're wanting, definitely gonna wanna get in touch with a family law attorney. A final hearing on relocation is basically a trial. So it could take you many months to get there. But under the statute, if you file a petition for relocation, you're entitled to a temporary relief hearing within 30 days. I put the copy of it here for you. But so when you file your petition, you're entitled to this temporary hearing where the judge basically makes a decision whether on a temporary basis you'd be allowed to move or not allowed to move. And those are expedited hearings. This is a little bit more complicated. If you're married and nothing's been filed, then technically you can move wherever you want to. If you have never been married before and you've never been to court before, then technically you could move wherever you wanted to if you're the mom. If you're the dad, then you're not really going to be able to have any rights to the child, so you shouldn't be moving. But if you're talking about after a court order, either after a divorce or after a parenting plan has been entered, or even after the filing of a petition for divorce or for uh, paternity, a parent cannot move pursuant to the statute more than 50 miles without a court order or the other parent's permission. If they do that, then you could file to seek to have the child returned and they're violating the relocation statute. If you are okay with them living some distance away, then you're gonna need to negotiate a new long distance parenting plan. And one of the things you're gonna need to think about is where the action's gonna be enforced county wise, even though it'll be in Florida, if they're living in a different county, then you could have a modification proceeding in another county as well.